Hi everyone, I'm back again and this is the moment after that amazing, amazing play. And right in front of me or next to me are some gorgeous ladies that, took, uh, uh, that participated in a question and answer session and they gave some excellent and eloquent answers to the heavy questions that were asked today. So ladies, I want to find out from you, what was, what was the message you got out of Zoe? The message that I got is that sometimes you don't have to trust friends. Even even if you get hurt or your family is doesn't you don't feel the love, mm -hmm. just be open to them and tell them what's happening in your life so that they can they can just be there for you and show the love that you need. Don't go outside be hungry for love to people that doesn't matter, that doesn't bring you anything. Mm -hmm. Don't go outside. And from you, what was the message for you? Um the message for me was that it we should understand that it's very important to firstly have principles mm -hmm. because principles are rules that will set you to understand what and what you're not going to do. Mm. So firstly, it's principles and secondly, um, it taught me that you have to be patient and know what time is right for us. So in terms of love, I thought that it's very important to first get that education, get the certificate, get the diploma, and then after that, settle and wait for the love of your life. Absolutely true. That's amazing. And you lady? I thought that it is okay to be unique and different from other people. You don't have to try and fit in because when you try and fit in, you're gonna make wrong decisions at the wrong time. You're gonna have. You should wait for the right time and for the right things to happen. Just let things go with the flow, but just be different, be unique. Don't let other people make decisions for you. Just make decisions for you. Wise words from very young people, and I feel emotional right now because I'm like the future is bright. I'm really inspired. So if you were in Zoe's shoes. What would you have done? I would have looked at my family first because sometimes we tend to be friends and we have different backgrounds. Sometimes people grow up with single parents or domestic, or your mother or your father is a domestic worker, but you just want to fit in. First, you have to think of your family and your background, then you can do things and take decisions of your life. Okay, before you go, I let you go. I don't want to keep you guys long. Um, I heard you guys talking about absent fathers and how they can affect you know, young girls growing up. Yes. Um, have you any of you grown up with your dads? I have. You have a father. I have, but as I have a father that is different, he drinks and stuff. So I don't get to you know, sit down and talk to him about those stuff. But because I have uncles and other relatives, I just go to them and they talk about it. They just advise and talk. Before I make a decision, I just I go out and ask for a second opinion before doing it. Because at the end of the day, every decision that we make affects a lot of people. I don't have my father around, I don't know him, and it's okay to speak to other relatives for more information, for advice. I go to my relatives for advice every time, and it helps. It's good to have other people around you, but not people who are going to influence you to make wrong things. You have to, have, you have to choose your people wisely, and who you can talk to, who to go to, who's your go-to person, and it's very good to have that. That's so wise. And from you? Um, I do have a father, but then I do not stay with him. I always see him on holidays. Mm -hmm. But I must say that I wouldn't say I really have a really strong relationship with him, but it's kind of positive. It's a, a good vibe between us. And yeah, I also have uncles that advise me, especially about my school, uh, I mean about my education, and also about the way that I should treat myself morally. And as for Zoe's um, situation, the one that where she had already been pregnant, I think because I'm a Christian and I, we understand that as Christians that a child is a blessing from God, no matter how hard it would have been, I would have kept the baby and just stay strong just for me and now for the future. For the child. Excellent. I have one last question for you. I know I said this is the last question. What, what would you advise or what would you say to young men? You know um, that are your age, and who, you know who might not want to take responsibility if they if they have a child with someone. But even for them not to even go to that step, what advice would you say to another young to a young man your age? What would you tell them? I would say wait for the right time. Don't jump into things because your friends are, uh, influences you or advises you to do. Because sometimes friends can say do that. It's nice, but they haven't done it before. So you have to just wait for your time. Wait for your time. Books before girls because girls get pregnant. <laughs> you should know that us too, we know our seven piece. And don't listen to your friends and be honest with yourself. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Mm. Lovely. Also, as a world that is evolving, firstly, I'll say that 
the guys should look around and see what's already happening and see that this is a trend but it's a very bad one. Mm -hmm. So how could they change that? So they could do that by actually even themselves setting ground rules and also think about the girls and think if I if I was in those shoes, what would I have done? I think that's also important because we find that guys are actually selfish. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no offense, but guys are actually selfish. So I think that also they'd have to like Gain more selflessness. Agreed. All right, before you go, tell me which school your name and which school you're coming from so people know where all of these wisdom and knowledge and excellence is coming from. I'm Tendega from Youth Next, so I'm Okay. I'm Akana from Tungani High School. Okay. I'm Bungao Mala from Oma High School. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like they've said it all young, brilliant, smart, and beautiful women in South Africa.